Hello everyone, this is Vaseem from Edureka and I welcome you all to this session in which I'm going to talk about Python Excel. Basically how we can work with Excel using Python. So let's take a look at the agenda for this session. First of all, I'm going to discuss what are the Python resources for Excel and then we'll create an Excel worksheet. After that, we will create an Excel workbook using OpenPy Excel. Moving further, we will create sheets using OpenPy Excel. And after that, we will do some operations like reading and writing into the Excel file using OpenPy Excel. And finally, we will save the file and see the changes that we have made over there in the Excel file. So I hope you guys are clear with the agenda. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to Edureka for more exciting tutorials and press the bell icon to get the latest updates on Edureka. If you're looking for a Python certification program, the link is given in the description box below. So without any further ado, let's begin our session. But before that, tell us in the comment section, guys, if you have already worked with Python Excel or if you're working with Python Excel right now, or if you're working on a similar project so that we can help you guys in the future. All right, so let's begin with our session, guys. So today's session is all about how we can work with Excel files and basically how we can interact with an Excel file or just create an Excel file for that matter. So right now, our aim is to figure out the best possible resource that we have at our bay and uh, Python excel.org actually has a lot of uh, you know resources that we can use for reading and writing Excel files. One of them is OpenPy Excel, which is the recommended package for reading and writing Excel files. Then we have XLSX Writer, which is an alternative package for writing data, formatting information and in particular charts in the Excel 2010 format. After that, we have Py XLSB which is the package that allows us to read Excel files in the XLSB format. And we have a PyLite Excel, which can, you know, which allows us to read Excel SX and Excel SM files and write Excel SX files. Then we have XLRD and XLWT. So XLRD is basically for reading data and formatting information from older Excel files. And XLWT is basically a package for writing data and formatting information to older Excel files. Now, moving further, we have Excel Utils, which is basically a package that collects utilities that require both XLRD and XLWT, including the ability to copy and modify or filter existing Excel files. After that, we have the writing Excel add-ins like PyXLL, Excel Wings, and you know these are the Python resources that we can use for excel files or working with excel in general so in our session we are going to take openpy excel for our you know operations that we are going to perform on the excel files so for starters the very first thing that you have to do is uh, install openpy excel and um, it's very easy guys you just if you're using jupyter notebook make sure you open anaconda prompt use the pip install openpy excel or if you're using virtual environment on pycharm you can install it from the terminal using pip install command or you can install it using the project interpreter as well all right guys so we'll move on with our uh, project here from the very first thing is uh, open by excel we're going to import the workbook all right so we have imported the workbook from here so the next thing that we want to do is create an object for the workbook all right so this is basically how we are going to work with the you know the excel files and now we will create a worksheet. So as a default, it comes with one worksheet and we can create separate other sheets as well. Let's create a sum. So we'll create one more. So using the word WB, we will create a sheet, name it as let's say sheet one. And then similarly, let's create two more. This one will be sheet two. This will be sheet three, right? Two and three. And now what we'll do here is uh, we will save the sample guys. All right, so using wb.save, we can give the file a name. Let's call it as excel.xlsx. So there's the format how you will save it. And uh, now let's just go and check our file guys. All right guys, so this is our file that we have created. We have sheet one, sheet two and sheet three over here. Now the next thing that we'll do, we will create or you know, read and write into this. So first of all, we will write, you know, a few values here. And to do that, what we'll do is basically let, let's just assign a value to a column first. So to do that, let's use column C is equal to WS. Okay, we have a name error, which says column is not defined. 
Okay, one second guys, I think I'm making a mistake over here. This doesn't have to be like that. After this, we will assign a value to this. Okay, so we'll, let's say, give it a value integer one. And uh, let's close this. And we will save it now. Now, when I open that file again, so in the sheet one, okay, this is probably because we have not created the columns yet. And so let's do that. Right, so we do one thing. Okay, so for x in range, let's say 1 to 11, and for y in range 1 to 11, we will create cells, and the rows will be equal to x, and the column will be y. And now let's try to add that. Okay, so we'll probably have to close this and save it again now open the file again all right so let's try to put this into an i table right guys so before we move further uh, let's try to append this particular value so we'll write ws dot append all right so now let's close it and let's save it again now when we open our file is there a value there all right so we do have a value over here all right, so this look a little bit haphazard did not really slice the columns uh, properly so we'll do one thing guys let's remove this and now we will create a columns this is going to be an iterable and uh, let's have it in the range 0 to 10 and after this we will add iter column or iter row you can use as well so let's say for column in iter column which uh, will be ws dot i to columns now we will have certain parameters here so we'll take minimum column is equal to zero we will take uh, maximum column is equal to let's say three and we will take maximum row is equal to five right so now in this particular scenario for each cell in the column we will append columns here and we will save it all right so it's open so it won't save now and we will save it okay so probably we'll have two values there but uh, since we have executed that particular cell twice so this is how it looks guys so for each value start from 12th row and start from the zeroth column because uh, minimum column was uh, zero so let's say if i change it to two and the maximum column becomes five let's see what the change would be and let's do this in uh, sheet one now so that we'll have a better clarity close this save it again now open the excel file right so let's go to sheet one and yes start from the column one this a2 goes until the a21 and having all these values until the j so this is how we can add values inside our Excel sheets using Python OpenPy Excel. Now after that, I want to talk about how we can add formulas also. So to do that, let's uh, add a formula in uh, worksheet one. Where do we want to add it? We want to add it in the A1, right? So we do not have A1 there. Do we have A1 in sheet? We do not have A1. So let's uh, do it in the A2 column and uh, yes. So the function would be, let's add a summation function over there. And uh, sum would be, let's say one and six. So execute this, close, save it, and uh, open the file again. Now go to sheet one, and this value has been changed by using the formula. So similarly, you can add these formulas or anywhere that you want. So this is how you can add formulas. And the next thing that I want to talk about is, uh, you know, just a basic function that uh, will help you, you know, in beginning while you're working with the Excel sheets, which is merging the cells. I'll tell you how you can merge the cells. And after that, we'll talk about how we can unmerge it as well. So we'll use the merge cell, merge cells method. And uh, over here, we probably have to give a slicing condition where we want to slice. So we'll start with A2. And let's merge all the cells until F2. Now close this and we'll save it again. Now we'll open, go to sheet one, 
and as you can see we have merged the cells from A2 to F2 and how do you unmerge it it's very easy guys you just use the function which is unmerge cells right so okay that's an invalid syntax we unmerge the cells close it and now open again go to sheet 1 and there you have unmerged all the cells but the values are also gone so that is how it works and with this we have come to the end of our session guys so if you have any questions you can mention them in the comment section below or tell us in the comment section guys do you want us to make advanced uh, excel tutorial using python and uh, yes if you are new here don't forget to subscribe to edureka for more exciting tutorials and press the bell icon to get the latest updates on edureka and do check out edureka's python programming certification program the link is given in the description box below thank you and have a nice day I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!